Well, there are a couple of reasons. I mean, here's a guy who, by his own admission, and there should be no shame in this, by the way, uh, got into Yale Law School because of affirmative action. I think that was fabulous. I think nothing wrong with it. He apparently is ashamed of it, so much so that once he became a jurist on the courts, um, he decided his first and foremost obligation, apparently, was to help usher out the very programs that had opened the door for him. I'm not sure how to think about that except to believe that that is someone who does not have a problem with the system of white supremacy that marginalizes other black folks as long as he got his. And he got his, and then he got out and basically said, that's it, we're done with that. I think if you look at his rulings, and particularly if you contrast his behavior as a judge and as a justice with the man he replaced on the court, Thurgood Marshall, you know, it's very interesting to see that one of the greatest jurists in American history when it comes to civil rights and when it comes to human rights and progressivism was replaced by one of the most reactionary justices because George H.W. Bush knew that you had to replace the black justice with